Hi, this is Mr. Shumway. This video clip explains how to, how to find the fractions of histograms, solve for exponent, percent decrease multiple times, just some things that will be on the um, midterm benchmark that maybe we haven't studied specifically. So if 10% of the students that start college quit every year, what percent of those that started will finish a four-year degree? So we want 90% is what's left over if 10% quit. So let's put that as a decimal, 0.9. And we'll multiply by 0.9 four times. So 0.9 times 0.9 times 0.9 times 0.9. So let's just raise it to the fourth power. That goes a little quicker that way. So the calculator says that 0.9 raised to the fourth power is 0 0.6561. So, to put the, if they ask for that as a, decibel, as a percentage, we would say that's 65.6. Since the next number is less than 5, we'll just drop that, round down. And so, 65.6%. If 4 times 2 to the n equals 32, then 5 times 3 to the n equals what? Well, to solve for n, one way to do that would be to divide this whole side by 4 and divide that side by 4. So that's just 1. So we just have 2 to the n equals 32 divided by 4 would be 8. So now we're looking for something that some power of 2 that equals 8. Well, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 equals 8. So that's 2 to the third. So n is the power, which is, in this case is 3. So if n is 3, then we have 5 times 3 to the third. 3 to the third means 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27, because 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27. 5 times 27, well, 5 times 20 would be 100. 5 times 7 is 35. Add those together and you get 135. What percentage of students have averages above 80%? Well, there's only those students, and that is four students. And then we need to know the total number of students, though. So here we have three, here we have five, here we have eight, and here we have nine. Eight plus nine is 17, plus two plus five is 22, plus three is 25. So the total is 25 plus four, which is... So we have 29 total, and we have four that are above 80%. We have a bunch that are right at 80%. But there's four that are above. Four divided by 29. Calculator says 0.1379. If they ask for that in percentage, we would say that's move the decimal two places, so that'd be 13 point. And if I just want one decimal place after the decimal, uh, the next one after that is nine, so I'm going to round up to eight. 13.8 is the closest to a tenth of a percent. In what group is the median? Well, if there's 29. Then I split that in half, and that says 14.5. So that means there's going to be 14 on either side of the median, the middle of a list of numbers in order. So from the high side, I would come down 14. And so there's 4 plus 9 is 13, so the 14 puts me into that group. The same thing from this side. 3 plus 5 is 8, so to get to the... 8 plus 8 would be 16, so it's going to be in this group right here. So the group that's 70 contains the median of all those numbers that I've, if I put them in order. So what is the class average? So I'll have three students that scored 50, so 3 times 50 is 150. And I have 5 that scores 60, so 5 times 60 is 300 points. 
I have 8 times 70, 8 times 7 is 56, so 8 times 70 is 560. Let's see, 9 times 8 is 72, so 9 times 80 would be 720. 4 times 9 is 36, so there'd be 360 points that those students earned. Now I just need to add up all of the points. Here we have 450, and here we have 1080. So if I add my 450, then I get 1530. So I have 1530 plus the last category that I have not added in would be the 560. So that would be 2090. So if altogether they've earned 2090 points, there were 29 students. So the average would be 2,090 divided by 29. And that tells me 72.068. So to the nearest percent, that would be 72.1%.